that ahead. Let's go now to Sunland Serfati, who's with the GOP uh, Communications Director, Sean Spicer. Sunland? That's right, Anderson. I'm here with Sean Spicer, who's also the chief strategist of the RNC. Tell me your impressions tonight, especially about the tone of tonight's debate. I think the tone was much better tonight. I think we, we heard a lot more from the candidates uh, than we might have in the past couple debates, per se. Uh, it was very substantive. I think uh, for voters coming into this crucial Tuesday, where you're going to enter that winner-take-all state phase of the campaign, uh, they got a lot out of this. They really covered a lot of issues tonight, a lot of issues that are on the minds of voters, and it's going to be important as people make up that, their decision. Is there any regret that this did not happen sooner among these potential nominees? Well, look, I mean, you got to go through certain iterations of a cycle, and each one of these candidates has to play a strategy that they think is going to be best for their campaign. I think at this point in the cycle, the voters are ready to see a little bit more substance, to see some of these issues covered more in depth. Um, so. What I'm really, what I'm really excited about, rather, is is the level of intensity that we're seeing, the turnout, the record turnout in all of these states. That's something that's very beneficial. It's going to be important for us heading in November. We've got um, in the battleground states like here in Florida, we're seeing 120 percent, 130 percent of record turnout. You've got 690,000 early returns already in Florida. That shows that something's happening on our side. Did anything tonight, in your opinion, change the trajectory of this race? We don't know. I mean, that's important. The, the question is, how many voters in those key states of this Tuesday are still looking to make up their mind? And we're seeing in some of the states, at least from the exit polls, that there's a good amount that make up their mind at the end. So I, I think for a lot of those people, those viewers, those voters that were waiting to see something or get another look at a candidate, this could have been really important. And going forward, tell me your predictions. When do you think you will get a nominee? Uh, it's really not up to me to determine that. That's going to be up to voters. We're going to see more people be involved in this process than ever before. But what I can tell you is this. Even if somebody ran the entire table, which is almost impossible between now going forward, we couldn't have a nominee until the first week of May. That means that we've got a little bit ways to go. There's a lot more states, a lot more people that are going to be part of this process. John Spicer, thank you very thank much. You. Anderson, back to you.